um, today is, is probably not gonna go well. suspension, uh, the lift, uh, brakes, and honestly with a vehicle that's been sitting as long as it has, again considering it's a Florida vehicle, I just know how bolts can be and I absolutely despise trying to figure out, uh, I wouldn't say trying to figure out, just trying to get old bolts off that are seized. You can try PB Blaster which I'll be using uh, plenty of that today. I probably should have did it yesterday but uh, it is what it is. So today the main goal is to basically take off the old suspension as far as coilovers um, and the rear springs, put the new coilovers on. I'll explain all that here in a second, kind of what I'm putting on it and the parts, the exact parts that I have. And uh, I'm not, this is not gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial by no means, uh, but you will kind of see the process of me doing this. And I'm sure, uh, like I said, it's, it's probably not gonna go very well. Anytime I've dealt with uh, projects like this, I feel like even like the Lexus right here, it was, it was also a Florida car and uh, just every single bolt was just so hard to get off. I mean, I used PB Blaster, I would heat it up with a torch. I mean, I tried everything just to like get these bolts off. And honestly, I had ended up replacing like 90% of them because I just couldn't get them off. And uh, so yeah, today's we're gonna start on that. And just to kind of go through the parts that uh, I'm gonna have on this thing, I'll kind of run through each one. Um, starting with, uh, let's start with the coilovers. Um, so basically, there's not a like perfect way to lift these elements. The cheap way is to basically do like a coil lift, like a spacer, and honestly, you kill your, your drivability in my opinion. I have never had one that way, but I've had coil spacers on other vehicles, and it just isn't the best method to get the best ride. And uh, honestly, you're kind of stuck with whatever lift that you put on there. So I decided to go to a coilover lift. Now, I had to order custom coilovers from BC, and they're lift coilovers or they're extended coilovers. So that I added a, a 30 millimeter extension on the coilovers and that allows me to get about two to three inches of lift from stock height. Now the issue with uh, lifting these elements is that it's an all wheel drive version is that as you lift them, you have your, your pivot points for your axles start to you know have a, a gr angle that's too great for them to really last. Um, you're gonna end up killing the joints and that is like the main reason why people don't lift these things. Uh, you see on the internet, people like stay away from you know any lift on these things. It's going to kill axles. But there is a company that is Honda Rescue, I believe. I'll put them down in the description. Um, he actually introduced a body lift, and what that's going to do is instead of just lifting the the suspension points, it's actually going to drop the subframe and drop the rear and front subframe. So that way the axles stay in line with how they're supposed to be in a factory form. That way the lift doesn't really affect um, the actual you know axle placement and all that. So next on the list is gonna be brakes. Um, I end up going with a whole new, uh, all new calipers all the way around and all, obviously all new pads. And I went with like a little bit aftermarket pad. It's like a kit you can get on at Summit. I think it's PowerStop. Um, some of the FD drivers, I know Ryan Literal um, is sponsored by them. Uh, so I went to the PowerStop brakes. They had good reviews. They were fairly inexpensive and they look pretty good. And I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better than factory. And with having these bigger tires and all this extra rotational weight, I feel like I needed to get a little bit better brake on there than a factory brake system. So next up on the list is gonna be the wheels and tires. So I went with the 1552s. Um, again, the, the tires were, or the wheels were like pretty lightweight. They look good and they're actually really well priced. Uh, and I wanted that kind of old school, um, you know, Jeep, kind of, I don't know, just kind of old school look. I didn't want anything like too crazy. I wanted a simple wheel. Uh, I wanted to keep it black because the way the scheme is going to work with the whole wrap and everything. Uh, I wanted that all to come together. And to me, I just love the way they look. So I saw a post from SEMA. I believe it was a Samurai that had these same wheels on it. And uh, I just loved them. So I went that route. And then tires, I went with the BFGs. And I believe it's the KM3 is the series name. And uh, again, I picked the BFGs and I picked the KM3, which is a mud terrain. 
Uh, I wanted it to look aggressive. Being that it's an element, I think if you went all terrain, I think it would just look too mild. Uh, and I was worried about a mud terrain not riding good. But after doing some research, I know a lot of guys on the, on the forums talking about the KM3 is like one of the best riding mud tires that you can get, that they really ride like an all-terrain tire but give you that mud terrain look and feel, and obviously it's gonna handle much better in the mud, uh, which I do plan on taking it off-road. It's not just gonna be, not that it's gonna be an off-road vehicle, but if I wanna go through the mud, I'm not gonna be scared to do it. So with all that being said, um, I guess at this point, I'm gonna attempt to get started on this thing. Uh, I did put some PP Blaster on some of the bolts that I could see without taking everything off. I'm gonna get it on some jack stands and just uh, go for it and wing it. And this is the first time I've ever worked on an element. So it's gonna be interesting to see how everything looks once I start diving in and start pulling things off. Yeah, state your name. Big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lane. Then we did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping the base. Slap on everything. Swimming, sticking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. All right, so a little update. Uh, the front coilovers are on, and it really wasn't too bad. The only thing that was kind of bad was uh, about uh, two minutes after I took the tires off and started spraying brake cleaner and everything to clean up and everything out of there, literally like 50 spiders just all started coming down from inside the car somewhere. I don't know where they were at. I think I hit a nest. And it was crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. So I literally had to jump up, killed as many as I could with brake cleaner. Um, I don't do spiders very well. So I took a little bit of a break, let them clear out, and uh, went back to it. But yeah, overall, I mean, all the bolts broke loose pretty well. Some of them are rusted, but nothing was too crazy. Um, it took a little bit. Some, uh, I smashed a couple fingers trying to uh, wiggle some stuff out. And uh, those coilovers, the factory ones, are, are pretty, pretty heavy compared to the, the BCs that we have. So it was fun getting them out of there. Uh, one-handed but it worked out and I have not got the backs yet so I'm gonna shoot up to the backs here in a minute uh, one issue I had was uh, I didn't check my summit boxes when they came in like two months ago which I should have uh, but I just wasn't working on the element then and I kind of ordered stuff too early but I ended up having some parts not in there so I'm gonna try to get uh, customer service and, and see if I can get those parts uh, added to the order and it uh, really it's just a couple brake pads which isn't a big deal but it's got, definitely gonna delay me a little bit and the other part that I didn't really think about was changing like the tie rod ends and the ball joints like, the tie rod ends are so bad on the front and, and just it just needs to be replaced so it's one of those things like why everything is off now we'll go ahead and do it and I wish I would have thought about it prior to ripping everything apart. So it's gonna be a little bit of a delay from this point until tires are back on it. But hopefully in the next four or five days or so, um, I'll be able to get back on it, do the ball joints, do the tie rod ends, and any other little piece like that that needs to be done that I may find on the rear. Uh, it looks like maybe some sway bar ends and stuff like that. So anyways, that's what's going on now. So I'm gonna hop on the backs.
Okay, here's the deal. I gotta be a little bit honest with you guys. I tried to wear the same outfit for like over a week to make this video seem seamless and not be, not to hide the fact that it's multiple days, but I really wanted it just to be seamless. It looks like it's one video or one day of video work. Um, but honestly, I got super stumped on the rear end of this thing. I had so many bolts just seized up on this car. I tried everything from PB Blaster to a torch, you name it, I tried it and finally had to get it pull everything off and just cut it off with a cutoff disc because it would not come out. I actually got some of them to thread, but they were so stuck that they were just threading through the metal and actually like pulling the metal apart and actually messing the subframe up, so, or the, the suspension points. So anyways, I cut everything off. I didn't video it because honestly, it was just hours worth of just nasty work, pulling everything off, beating it with a hammer, not really good lighting. So I skipped that, went on to the brakes. And yeah, this is some a little kit that I bought from Advanced. I don't, I don't know how it is. I, wish, I honestly wish I would have just got spray paint or something or just bought new calipers or remands because it was a pain. I mean, it took a lot of work. I mean, how to scrub everything with a brush, wire brush, then you got to paint multiple coats and just sitting there painting with a little brush. I mean, I have hours just into this, but I didn't want the calipers to look all, you know, cruddy and rusty, but honestly, it is what it is. It's done at this point. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm about actually about to go pick up the tires and then yeah, I guess the next couple days I hopefully can have this thing mounted up and actually moving on its own power. Still a few things I gotta do mechanical wise, but uh yeah, I think we're we're getting close. So that's gonna be it for this video. So I'm gonna go get the tires. Yeah.